cape Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome back to another episode of Rusty Rogers Road to the Show here on MLB 15 The Show on the PS4. Your boy Rusty doing work here in his first full season in the MLB with the Yankees, who have started off pretty nicely, 9 and 4, as we head into the last few weeks of the first month of the season in April. You see Rusty, there's his attributes, 19 years old, 84 overall, that turns into an 85 throughout the episode, but he's still a C potential, wondering when that's going to get boosted up. And they do um, actually have a prospect who's 26 years old, but this is the biggest competition Rusty has so far. They have drafted a couple of other shortstops since, but uh, it looks like he's got the spot pretty much locked up, and he's helping the Yankees here who have a two and a half game, or sorry, two a game lead over the Orioles for first in the AL East. So here we are, Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, Orioles and Yankees, Orioles Two games back of the Yankees in the standings, like you just saw, they are seven and six. And here comes Rusty, first at bat of the game, as he's hitting 292, just a tad bit under 300, and he is looking to improve on that throughout this episode. And here's the first pitch, and he's driving that into right field. So that is a nice job there. First pitch you guys see is a base hit, and he'll get 15 points for that at bat. Solid at bats. Top of the fourth now, Rusty's in the field. Making it look easy over there as he throws that over first and retires the batter. Just, uh, you know, trying to get through this season. It's his first full season. Um, he played a month last year, and, and then he got thrown in the playoffs. So that gives him some experience. But uh, this is his first. This is the season he's considered a rookie. And he actually gets pretty good wood on this one, although it is going to be caught out there and left. So unfortunately, no base hit there. And he will only get... 12 points for the at-bat. Actually, that was a sacrifice fly with a runner on third. So, he will come back up to bat. Yankees up 2-1 in this one as he's 1-2 for two on the night. Runner in scoring position with two outs, and that is a base hit into left field. Can he get an RBI? Uh, no, they're going to hold a runner, so probably, probably smart there. That was a shallow base hit, but now there's runners on the corners to see if they can do anything, which they don't. Still 2-1. There are runners on first and second off for Rusty as he's trying to get his third hit of the day, and he will not get it as he strikes out there, chasing that high pitch, and he will get zero points for that at bat. So, end of the game here. Yankees doing this one 2-1, to one, so they hang on. Ian Nova improves to 2-0. He actually went the full nine innings, I believe. Rusty went 2-4 for four with an RBI. Solid game from him. And now we will send through the rest of that series, through the Tampa Bay series, all the way up to the Boston series, because it's always nice to play Boston in Fenway. And even more nice when you are the Yankees. So, Yankees starting very well this season, 14 and 5. Red Sox struggling after winning the World Series last year. And here comes Rusty, averages down a bit. We'll see if we can bump that up as the 3 2 pitch is coming with no one on and no one out. And he will drive that in a center for a base hit. So, a nice job there by Rusty getting on base 28 points. That was a long at bat, 7 pitches, and he is liking that. So, next at bat, 1 for 1. Top of the third, still no score, no one on base with one out. The 1-1 pitch is coming, and he hits that into right field for a base hit. So a nice job there. Two base hits now, another two-hit game for him, and he looked to try to make a three, unlike last game where he couldn't. And now he is in the field, trying to get out of this inning with two outs. He's charging the ball, makes the throw, and records the out. So a nice job there as he is... Helping, uh, who is that, Michael Pineda? I think it is. Doesn't look like he has any pine tar on his neck this time, and he's doing good. Base is loaded, though, for Rusty in the top of the fourth. Yanks up one nothing, and it's going to stay like that because Rusty chokes, and he does not drive a run home. Although the Yankees do tack on a run later on in the game, so now it's 2 nothing as Rusty is back up to the plate. Top of the seventh, leading off. That's hit deep into center. It's not going to be deep enough, though, as Mookie Betts is over there, and he makes the catch. So... Had two chances to make an impact, get another third, get a three hit game, and he does not. So, choking a little bit here after he gets his two hits. Trying to make a double play here happen, and he does not. I thought that was safe. Or, sorry, I thought it was out at first, but it was safe. And I think, did they score a run off of that? I don't know. They eventually scored a run. It's now 3 1 Yankees in the top of the ninth. No one on, one out. First pitch of the at bat is hit. And once again, he is robbed of that third hit of the game, this time by the Panda, Pablo Sandoval, making that catch look easy at third. And he 
only gets two hits once again. Two hits, one run at in five at bats. No RBIs though. Yankees do hang on and win three to two. And we will move on now to the Toronto series, where we face my boy Josh Donaldson and the Blue Jays, who are struggling a little bit, seven and fifteen. Yankees still tearing it up, 10 games above 500, 16 and 6. And you can see Rusty is struggling. Last four games, he is 3 and 18. That is not good, not what you want to see as he will try to uh, get another multi hit game, maybe a three hit game today. Well, that's how you start it. That's a base hit, maybe more, into right center. He's going to go for two, and he should make it. And that is a very nice job there by Rusty. Most people would have just stayed at first, but he he's fast. He can go to second, and he does just that. So he gets the double, he's one for one and ends up scoring. So now it's one nothing Yankees in the top of the third. No one on base with one out, and the 1-0 pitch is hit over to third. And you know, Josh Donaldson's not messing up that throw. Rusty is retired, that's all right. If I could grant out to anyone, it's gonna be my favorite player, Josh Donaldson, who is tearing it up this year. Record setter for the votes in real life, and must have been teaching Rusty a few things because he's making that throw a nice solid throw. Maybe a little too high, but that's okay. Makes it over to first and records the out. 3 0 Yankees now. Top of the fifth. Rusty up to the plate. One for two so far in this one. Base is empty. One out. 1 1 pitch coming. And Rusty hits that one. I don't. That's not deep enough. Can it fall? No. It's going to be caught out on the left. So try to get a little blooper out there. But it just got a little too much under it and popped it up just enough. So doesn't get the hit there. He's one for three. But the Yankees retain their lead. They are doing very good so far. 4-3 to three in the top of the eighth. And Rusty is ripping this one into right center once again. Yeah, that was a little more shallow than that last one. So he couldn't go for two. But he does have another multi-hit game. 12 points for the at-bat. Yankees up 6-3 now. Bottom of the eighth. Runner on second. Rusty trying to finish this off. And he will with that throw over to first. Records the outs and um, gets it done there. So gets seven points for the fielding opportunity. Yankees up now 6-4, top of the ninth. Rusty's on at home plate, looking to uh, get a runner to home plate with a runner at second, and he's hitting this one into right, but that's going to be caught out there by Jose Bautista if he's still playing, and he is. So Yankees, again, still hang on, 6-4, and again, Rusty Rogers can't get that third hit of the game. Two hits, two runs, a double, no RBIs though, and five at-bats, a solid performance still by Rusty. So he'll travel to, uh, well, I would have said our nation's capital, but pretty close to it, Baltimore and the Orioles. Rusty hitting 297, trying to get that over 300. Can we do that this game? Well, we will see. He is leading off. First pitch of the game is hit into left center. Is that going to fall? No, it's not, as the center fielder, Adam Jones, goes over there and makes that catch look easy. Six points for the at-bat, and... Here's something we don't see every day. Yankees losing 2-0. Top of the third. Base is empty with no outs. 0-2 pitch for Rusty as he's leading off the inning again. And this time, he will get a base hit past the third baseman, Manny Machado. And he'll get 17 points for the at-bat. Base hit. Trying to get two more. Make it three. Because we have not got three this episode. He's one for two so far. Yankees tied the ball game at two. And I don't know why we just got shown that. <laughs> he's in the field now. And he's going to turn a double play. Nice to see there. So it wasn't at bat, it was a fielding opportunity, which he does very well in and gets seven points. So now, here's the at bat, one for three, as the Orioles score two more runs. It's now 4-2, Baltimore in the top of the seventh, base is empty with one out, and Rusty is not helping out here as he pops this one up into right, and the catch is made. So, looks like he will only get one hit today, unless he gets another at bat. No, he doesn't. Orioles win this one 4-2, the only loss you guys saw from the Yankees today. He's doing pretty well, or the Yankees are at least. Kevin Gosman, 3-2 now after that win, and the Yankees are rolling 20-8 to start off this 2016 season. And, wow, that's all I have to say. Rusty is doing pretty well, um, just a tad bit under 300. And I am really looking forward to continuing this series. Next episode, we will probably get some home games, maybe a couple games in Kansas City, Philadelphia, maybe Toronto again if we get there. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. Make sure make sure to subscribe and as always, peace.